Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get through the mobile phone number required screen on Modern Warfare 2 if you've already done it once. And I say it that way because the very first time you load up MW2 on Steam, it's going to work fine. Now, this is during week two of the beta. I'm not sure if this is going to be fixed by the full release of Modern Warfare 2. If it's not, there's going to be a lot of people complaining about this shit. But right now, it is absolutely fucked. And it is not fun to deal with. So I'm going to show you every single step to get through this screen a second time. So if you restart your PC, this will happen to you. So the first time you get on Modern Warfare, you're good. You restart your PC, not exit out of Modern Warfare. You can restart your game, whatever. If you restart your entire PC, this will happen to you. And it's nonsense. Guys, do me a favor. Make sure you're dropping a like on the video. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I'm trying to get to 19K, then 25K and up. All right. Now that we got that done, I already added a phone number, man. Let's see what happens. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're loading. Boom. Mobile phone number dot dot dot. Can't see the rest of it. Please try to link your mobile phone number again. Now, all this information that I'm about to do, obviously, I can't show you. But what I'm going to do is make the screen black. I'll put some sort of gameplay in the background for you guys. And I'll explain to you what is currently happening. I will probably mute the gameplay. That way, you can still follow along with my voice and understand what's happening. So, let me turn my screen off. All right. So gameplay should be up. I'm going to go to Steam account. All right. That's the first thing I'm going to do. So you're going to follow along with what I'm saying. Go to Steam account. And you're probably going to see a screen that says, sorry, there was an error doing that. And it'll say you recently verified your phone number. As a result, you cannot verify it again at this time. You're going to click OK. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to see contact info on Steam. You're going to click manage your phone number. The next thing you're going to do is click remove number. Next thing you want to do is you might have a couple different options here. You're going to send a confirmation to my Steam mobile app. All right. You have to have this Steam mobile app. If you don't have your authenticator set up, whatever it is, um, then I'm not going to be able to follow along with you. I'm just giving you my personal steps on how to get around it. So open up the Steam app. On the device that is connected to your Steam account, which should be your primary phone. Maybe it's a tablet. You guys all have different situations. So we're going to send a confirmation to my Steam mobile app. And I'm not going to have screenshots of any of this stuff on screen for you guys. It's all going to be by the sound of my voice. You guys got to follow along with what I'm saying. So next, on your Steam app, you're going to see up in the top left, three lines. You're going to click those three lines. You're going to see a whole bunch of stuff on the left. You're going to see Steam Guard, Confirmations, Friends, Notifications, Store, Community, all that. You're going to hit Confirmations. And at the very top, you're going to see Account Recovery. Click on that. You will see the same code on your phone that you see on your screen right now. Click Confirm in the bottom right. After you do that... You're going to see a screen that says remove my phone number and it's going to see it. It's going to say your Steam account name and uh, you're going to click remove my phone number at the uh, about the middle of the screen. Next, you are going to see that your phone number is removed from your Steam account. Now you're going to click add a phone number. It's going to be under contact info, the same exact place. And this is where it starts to get really annoying. So type in your phone number. And then you're going to click next. And now you have to go to your email. So the email that's connected to your Steam account. This is just to get on Call of Duty, by the way. Um, we're going to go to our email that's connected to our Steam account. And don't close that email. Um, or at least your email provider, Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, fucking AOL, if that shit even still exists, whatever. Um, so you're going to get an email from Steam. You're going to get a bunch of them, actually, about you removing your phone number and all this other shit. Uh, you're going to click add a phone number on that newest email that you just got. It's going to come up on your phone, say email confirmed, if that's where you're doing your email. If you're doing it through your PC, it'll say email confirmed. Then you're going to hit next on the add phone number screen. And then you're going to get a code sent to your phone from Steam. It's going to be a text message. So you're going to enter that in. All right. Then you're going to hit next. It's going to say you have successfully added a phone number to your account. Is there one more notification you get? No, I think you're good. So now after you've added the phone number again, what you're going to do is close out of Steam. You're going to close out of your Steam overlay. Let me get the mobile phone number screen back up for you. Okay, we should be back now. Now we are going to click I already 
added a phone number and you will get into Call of Duty. It takes about five minutes and it's really fucking annoying. But if you guys just need to get on the game, man, it's like you got to do what you got to do. That's the only way for you to get on Call of Duty right now after the first initial login. So guys, hopefully this one helps you out, man. Hopefully you could follow along. If one of you guys wants to drop a step-by-step -step in the comments down below, man. That would probably help some people out that are more of the visual learner type. You know, I did my best with the resources that I had. When you're on Steam Overlay, um, you know, the only way you can kind of capture that is through a display capture, and I just am not able to do that because obviously I don't want any of my info displayed. So, you know, just got to understand that I'm doing my best here to help you guys get into Modern Warfare and, you know, still do my job correctly and uh, not fuck anything up. So, Guys, hopefully this helps you out, man. If it does, the like is greatly appreciated. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Sponsors and equipment description below. Hopefully you guys get in COD, man. I really want you guys to experience Modern Warfare 2 because it's an absolutely phenomenal title, minus the SBMM. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.